Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this um, problem on logarithm. Okay, so we have um, log x squared minus 5x plus 50 to the base of 10 equal to 2. Okay. Okay, so from here, what we'll do is to relate this to indices and the log will be gone. The log says this, which is x squared minus 5x plus 50 will be equal to 10 to the power of 2. So we have 10 to the power of 2 over there. So the log has gone, right? And then from here, we can now say x squared minus 5x plus 50 is equal to 100. The next thing is bringing 100 to the left hand side. And we will have x squared minus 5x plus 50 minus 100 equal to 0. Okay, so x squared minus 5x minus 50 is equal to 0 because 50 minus 100 is 0 right okay so the next thing we will do is to solve this quadratic equation using any of the methods but then let's try to factorize this if it will work what two numbers do you multiply to get minus 50 and then you put the two of them together to get minus 5. The two numbers will be minus 10 and 5. Because minus 10 times 5 will give us minus 50. And minus 10 plus 5 will give us minus x. Okay, minus 5, right? So we have this already. So let's factorize. Okay, so this means that we are going to have x minus 10 as one of the factors and then the second factor will be x plus 5 over there and this is equal to 0, right? Then we can now apply our zero product rule to say either x minus 10 is equal to 0 or x plus 5 is equal to 0. x here is equal to 0 plus 10 or on the other side, x will be equal to 0 minus 5. Then x is equal to 10 or x is equal to minus 5, right? Then we can conclude, therefore, x is equal to 10 or minus 5. But then is there a way that we can check to see that we are correct? The original equation is log x squared minus 5x plus 50 to the base of 10 equal to 7 um, equal to 2 right okay so let's confirm this if we're going to work with x this means that we're having log log to base 10 then here we have x squared which will be 10 squared now minus 5 times 10 plus 50 now, will this give us 2? Let's try to check it. We have log to the base of 10. This is 100 minus 5 times 10 is 50, right? Then plus 50. Mind you, this and this will be gone. So this implies that we are having log 100 to the base of 10. And log 100 to base 10 is definitely equal to 2 because this also implies that we have log 10 squared to the base of 10. So this will go behind and then this power here becomes the value okay, of log 100 to base 10. So we are correct to say that um, x is equal to 10. Now I will try to put in the value of x as minus 5. To see if it will satisfy as well. 
Okay, so this is the original equation. I want to check for x equal to minus 5, right? So that means I'm going to have log. Okay, open bracket. This is to be 10 in place of 5. In place of x squared, we shall write minus 5 bracket squared. Let me turn this. Okay, then I have minus 5 times minus 5 because x is minus 5 then plus 50 okay so the question is will this give us 2 on the right let's go this is log to be 10 um, we have minus 5 squared that will be 25 and then minus 5 times minus 5 will give us plus 25 then we have plus 50 again right okay so this implies that we are having log 25 plus 25 plus 50 will give 100 to base 10 right okay and this is what we had before because i said this is the same thing as log 10 to the power of 2 to base 10 the power can always go behind, so we have 2 log 10 to base 10. And there's a law that says log of the same number to the same base is equal to 1. So this implies that we have 2 times 1, and this is 2. And on the right-hand side, we were having 2, right? So this means that x minus 5 is correct. So therefore, x is is truly equal to 10 or x is equal to minus 5. Thank you for watching.